Sekian OTM platform uh, covers uh, the same platform can be used for your uh, MSSP deployment as well as for the enterprise deployment. The only difference between the platform is uh, the license or the license you have got. And right now you are seeing the, the MSSP view where uh, as MSSP uh, you are able to see across all of your customers and this can be segmented as well if you have thousands and thousands of customers you can segment it across the various team but you are able to see uh, everything together and anything which is red yellow orange is what you have to go and look deeper into it uh, and it's very easy to provision your clients and the users have the different role you can get the notification if there's something is happening in there uh, at the MSSP level as well as the enterprise level. And uh, you can do the bulk provisioning, you can get your notifications and security certificates and all that, giving the secure access to the other people. Uh, to get into any of those organizations where you have to go more deeper into there, you can just click the home and you now you are down to the enterprise view of that particular organization and in the enterprise view now you are able to see like on that enterprise tenant what is happening uh, in the MSSP case but in uh, as far as like your uh, enterprise case you are seeing, seeing everything what is happening in there. The key point I like to highlight over here Sekyan OTM is a platform so what does it mean? It means you don't have to have uh, many of your past decade silos to see the difference what Sekyan OTM makes for your uh, organizations and uh, kind of the pro uh, protections and the, the uh, for your uh, threats as well as the compliance uh, it brings in uh, for you. Uh, as far as the threats are concerned, most of the organizations, uh, they, what they care about, they care about uh, the threats related with the crime wave, such as malware, ransomware, spyware. Then you've got credential related threats, which can be uh, uh, insider, compromised credential, uh, social kind of like engineering and all those where uh, people are able to take advantage and uh, and uh, steal the credentials and all that in there. Then you got the denial of service related attack. Then you got uh, attacks related with uh, the vulnerabilities and the vulnerability exploits. Thing I like to highlight about the vulnerability is not about just the known vulnerability. There is a thousands of unknown vulnerability and you got to have a solution which can protect you against those things as well. And second OTM does that and then you got uh, threats which are uh, related with uh, uh, just IT or said of IT people making a mistakes that is just something you have to look into as well and then you have uh, now uh, any of the organizations you have uh, connectivity into the cloud sometimes multiple clouds you got to have a solution which is able to look through those and provide you protections from the threats originating from them or even coming into your instances over there as well. So you got to be watching uh, in a single context the whole things across your organizations, whether it's on-prem cloud branches or even a uh, 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 home user coming through the VPN or partner coming through their own uh, tunnels and all that. You have to protect against all of those that too and second OTM does that. Uh, you got your web and email. Uh, there can be exploits happening across those ones. You have to be much those ones as well. And that's what the second OTM does. What we are looking over here is looking just a dashboard for this particular enterprise. System has looked over like around 35 million events. It has, uh, 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 it is looking right now around 88,000 uh, threat indicator, but what organization has to look around is only two alerts which they care about. And uh, same thing, you can look into your performance dashboard as well. 
can be looking your what kind of those threat indicators where they are coming from and all that you can be looking into your uh, alert dashboard where those alerts are you can do the drill down or you can do what if the accents are happening across those ones as well so that's like on the dashboard we are looking into 24 hours view you can be looking into the in the quick view you can go up to seven days you can look into the seven days view as well what platform does it as we always talk about uh, visualize a complete enterprise environment whether it's a sitting it on prem or it is across hundreds of locations it doesn't matter so that's what it does so you are visualizing the whole organization what it is showing is it's a lot of things are happening between this be been the Sekion lab it's like 50 percent of all the activities are within the Sekion lab then there's some Sekion services uh, what is happening across public and then Sekion OTM and so on and so forth so you are able to see one of the key points I like the platform sees all the user applications services what is happening in your environment is let's say it's last seven days there has been 7.6 terabyte of information flows back and forth it has seen each one of those you know now if you want to you can go ahead and overlay your threats on top of that too and you can see where some of those threats are you are able to drill down to the next level or what you can also do is you can just go into the alert view but the key point i like to point out over here is within three click you are down to the individual application services host user that's what you are able to get down and you see is like what is had happened in there as well so that's the that's one of the key point i like to highlight in there so you are always able to see is like hey if this is a something in there what it has connected with and all that too so that's the something i like to point out so within three click you are down to those now if you want you can so visibility is one thing and as you kind of look into the visibility uh, you're able to see a lot of things which is happening and people use it for many other purposes beyond the, the security itself and which you can think of yourself as well what we'll be able to do beyond that but as soon as you put the platform in your environment now you start seeing Kind of the threats being detected in your environment as well so you might be looking at the host user related uh, uh, activities or origins coming from that network applications and machine learning any one of these things can be contributing towards the alert and you are always able to drill down to the any alerts as well so if you want to go and drill down into this particular alert now you can see that it sometime it may takes uh, it may bring hundreds and sometimes thousands, sometimes maybe only few events to come and generate alerts. So in this case, you can see there are some origins coming from networks, some are coming from your uh, host user related, some of those are coming from the, dom the domains, rep reporting in there coming from the, your applications, and a lot of machine learning events are there. Any one of these ones, you are always able to drill down. To the next level and see what is happening in there so that's the capability you have into the platform and you can see when it has happened what has happened and all that in there so you can go to the raw, raw label information as well so that's what you are able to do another thing is a key point is as we always point out that you are always able to go ahead and take actions to eliminate and contain a threat so that's a something we second platform does it you can be taking actions right now depending on what kind of the setup you have platform identifies all of your gateway so you can be taking actions on of your gateway if it is a malware infected host and it sees that the best way to do it eliminate the communications going outside so you are able to do that as well you can go ahead and select it and you can apply the policy across all of your gateways in there and it will always go ahead and say where the policy is going to be applied and all that in there so you are able to do that same time other thing i wanted to point out that you can be taking these actions automatically as well you don't have to come over and do uh, like uh, 
push a policy by hand because a lot of time this might be weekend where you are not there so what you can do is you can always go ahead and you can do the auto config auto remediation and auto remediations uh, you can always do based on all the asset groups and I didn't talk about the asset but I'll kind of say that the assets are learned automatically and you can always uh, make a change and all that if you want to. Uh, you can look into is like uh, uh, which particular is scheduled if you want to just do Saturday Sunday then up to your choice or just like during the night you want to take automated actions uh, which are the devices credential you have offered over here it can be any switch router windows ADs as well as uh, uh, firewalls and uh, uh, even the uh, vSphere so it can go and uh, apply the policy even the vSwitch as well uh, and you can select what kind of the alert types you want to take actions on and uh, and select those alert types as well and uh, and you can press the save the button so you have a lot of fine grain capability in there to apply the policies in there as well and uh, definitely uh, if you have something like this you can also go and see if the system has uh, kind of already done a lot of work for you uh, so you are able to go ahead and analyze those ones as well so let's go and see where the system might have taken some actions and you can see if it is auto access has been executed by the system as well. So they say it's remediated in there. We're looking into this time frame, we don't see any, but let's look into the last 30 days where it has to take some access and maybe that some of those are driven auto remediated or something like that. So go over here, now you see in what system it was system related uh, auto remediation which was taken place in there directly so you can see that it does those uh, you can get all the reports and uh, the rollback as well capability because some of the big uh, MSSP or major customer want to have capability to roll back if they think that okay this was okay acceptable one time behavior or something so you are able to do that as well other key point I'd like to highlight is the platform is not only about detecting all those kind of threats you are always able to uh, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, be stay of your regulatory requirement you can create comprehensive reports uh, and uh, you can also see what kind of the uh, things are looking into your environment or how, how does your security process looks like so you are able to see those things also uh, uh, pretty much is like you can pull it through you can see what those threats are there when they are happening and all that so you are able to pull those kind of the the reports as well you can get your HIPAA reports uh, as well as like uh, NIST and all that in there you can do your investigations for the DMCA you just have to put the your address and boom you are able to go ahead and generate the reports on the fly and you export it all those like your netting, patting, DNS, DSCP and mapping and all that you don't have to do that so you can just put into the any of those the addresses where things are kind of like a bit torrents and all that is being investigated and you can put the timeline and with that platform does all the all the things for you is like even the mapping from the, the internal IP to the like uh, which users and who who went where and which applications and all that so you are able to do all those in there it just did this simple example but you are able to do all that who were all the all the users who went over there you know so you are able to do and this can be not only just IP it can be IP with the name and all that in there once you have your DNS uh, uh, DHCP data uh, and so 
so you don't have to be going and spending a lot of time in there you want to do your investigation reports you are able to do those ones in there so all your compliance investigations and all that and the platform supports your uh, uh, long-term storage you can have it for up to like seven years ten years depending on the storage size you can go and investigate for the long term as well so all those things inherently is already built into the system now